Okay, by now you should have your retargeting pixel in place and in this video I will show you the basics of creating a retargeting list. This is the first step, okay, you have to understand really the basic concept of setting up a website custom audience or retargeting list and in the next video we will dive deep into retargeting strategies and then I will show you how to customize the retargeting list depending on which strategy you choose okay so let's get started login into your facebook ads manager click on tools then click on audiences then on create audience over here and on custom audience select website traffic since we want to create a list of people who visit your website or view a specific web page okay so choose this option here great now that's a place where we'll customize the retargeting list first of all you can see the name of your retargeting pixel on the top of this section here so make sure there's a green dot next to it if it's red then that means the retargeting pixel isn't installed properly so fix it and the best way to fix it is to completely reinstall the pixel so delete it and just install a new one so make sure there's a green dot right next to the name of your pixel then this is probably the most important section to customize a retargeting list you have basically four main options we'll forget about the custom combinations for a minute you can either reach out to Facebook users who visit your website, who visit specific web pages, who visit specific web pages but not others, or people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time. So, anyone visiting your web page, this is pretty, pretty simple, right? You could just reach out to every single visitor who made it to your website. If you want to do that, select this option. Then people who visit specific web pages, you can say, okay, I just want to reach out to visitors who made it to a particular article, to a particular piece of content, or who've been in my online shop, or who have been to, to the blog section, okay? So you can just get even more specific. I mean, retargeting itself is super laser targeted, but if you select the second option, you can really get super, super laser targeted and very, very specific. Then people visiting specific web pages, but not others. This is not so relevant for growing a fan base. This is more relevant for selling products and services and growing an email list. So you don't really need this option to um, create a retargeting list to build up a fan base, same as the fourth option people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time. This is rather a, a option you should um, choose if you want to bring back website visitors. It's a great option if you have a blog in place. You, you, know, you have some content there and you wanna make sure that your old visitors come back again and read your content. So long story short, the only two functions that are really relevant for you if you want to build up a fan base are the first two anyone who visits your website and people who visit specific web pages. Now again, we'll take a look at some core strategies in the next video and then I'll show you exactly how to customize um, that section here, okay? Whether you should choose option number one or option number two and what you should enter, what URL you should paste. To keep things simple, let's just go with the first option. So you can just enter your domain here. In this case, it's AdBaker. Pretty simple, right? And the next step is to define the number of days people will remain on your audience, on your retargeting list after they visit your website. Also, people will get removed from your audience after the time period that you selected, unless they visit your website again. So you can go from one day to up to 180 days. This completely depends on your strategy, you know, which strategy you select. So depending on that, we'll enter three days or 10 days or 20 days. Um, seriously, it completely depends on what you want to do. Um, same if you use retargeting, build up an email list or you want to use retargeting to make more sales. So this section here is really very, very flexible and 
the amount of days that you enter here really completely depends on the strategy that you select. Last but not least, select an audience name, choose something very descriptive, for example, Ad Baker, which is the name of the website, general retargeting, meaning that I'm reaching out to everyone, and 180, meaning that people save for up to 180 days on my list. If you're done, click on create audience. Well, Facebook says, thank you for creating a custom audience. Your audience is ready. It's here. We will have to wait a little bit until we can serve ads to that audience. But in the meantime, we will cover some great strategies that you can deploy right away to grow your fan base with retargeting. So that's the way how you create a retargeting list. Don't do it yet. The way you customize it depends on the strategy that you select. So in the next video, we'll discover some proven and tested techniques to grow your audience. And I'll also show you how to customize the retargeting list based on the strategy that you selected. I'll see you in the next one.